Uh, that's who I am, uh, aside from also being the, the person whose fat ass everyone's had to go past to get on stage tonight. So sorry about that. I always seem to find the most um, inappropriate seat in any room I'm in. Um, so what I'm going to do tonight, this is an excerpt from uh, a show I'm doing in Edinburgh, um, yeah. which is called Howler's Van Tee. And Howl and Fenty is about the fact that I have a really, really serious problem with uh, a particular word. And that word is banter. Now, we all know what banter is meant to mean. It's meant to be the Algonquin Round Table. It's meant to be Oscar Wilde. It's meant to be Truman Capote. It's meant to be all that sort of stuff. But it's not, is it? Banter is men leering she laughs after women because they seem to, she knows that women after they seem to need dapper laughs programs. Banter is dapper laughs himself telling a woman on stage that she's gagging for a rape. Banter is men in Elephant and Castle thinking that their best chat up line is telling a woman she looks good from behind twice. Banter is boys in schools making jokes about sleep being the best time to actually have sex with a woman. That's, that's what banter is. And that's what really pisses me off. And I think we have a major problem because we live in a culture which is kind of ruled by banter at the minute. And no one, I should point out trigger warning wise, obviously this show does get into dealing with a lot of really, really um, heavy um, stuff. Uh, it's hopefully funny in places, uh, but there's a lot of stuff about misogyny and trans misogyny and rape culture and stuff like that in it. So that's, um, but I think, and I think the person who in many ways represents so many of those things, uh, is Jeremy Clarkson. Um, because this, this is... <laughs> so this, this is the poem I actually had to write for the show, because I had, um, I had a bit in the show where I talk about Jeremy Clarkson, and then I talk about, I had to go straight into a poem about the EDL. Now I'm pretty sure that the Venn diagram of Jeremy Clarkson fans and EDL fans is pretty fucking close to a certain <laughs> But... I did still feel this was a bit of an ask for the audience, so I wrote this to get from there to here. So this is a poem called Clarkson, and it's basically about the fact that Clarkson used a huge amount of racial slurs on television, made a huge amount of sexist jokes, and even when he actually punched one of his co-workers, people still claimed that he should be allowed to get away with it on the grounds of free speech. And I just thought, free speech? like. Free speech. I mean, it's, it's the freedom of speech of MPs slagging off teachers, the freedom of speech of homophobic street preachers, rich white men who call disabled people leeches, leading me to wonder who the fuck is free speech for? Because it seems like it's free speech to say slope and pikey, but if I say kill all men, that's not behaving very nicely. It seems like it's free speech to respect the Paris satirists because freedom of speech must mean the right to be offensive, but it isn't free speech if somebody burns a poppy because that's an act of sacrilege and insult to the squaddies. We've got a PM who's so venal that he's even worse than Blair, a chief judge who's a racist and a Voltaire-quoting mayor who once asked one of his posh boy mates to beat a journo up, but Jeremy's a free speech hero and the blow he struck should be a shot heard round the world. So says some guy called Guido, who doesn't care that Thatcher's cabinet was full of men of questionable character, and wants to march to Downing Street and bravely take a stand for the right of millionaires to punch their fellow man. <laughs> the principle's the thing, you see? The principle is this. Any man who's white and cis and adequately rich should never face the consequence of what they do when pissed. That's why girls who wind up raped by soccer stars are asking for it. That's why women who say we've been victimised are basking in it. That's why lads on stag nights gas that every lass is gagging for it. That's why sports presenters chuckle about smashing it in. This is not about one punch. This is about the patriarchy. Ruled by rich old white cis men who get away with murder by distracting you with pictures of a woman in a burqa or a miniskirt or anything a camera lens can please because it seems that women's clothes are evidently not protected speech when what we wear can be the difference of conviction and acquittal on the basis that rapes faded if we're wearing very little and if you've been drinking, baby, what did you let yourself in for? You can't say you've not consented if we know you've had a skin full. Listen, you're the mask, my love. You'll find it's really simple. Woman plus drink minus clothes, you deserved it. Man plus white plus rich equals impervious. And that's the Clarkson. Woo!